Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Monica and today in this video we will learn how to create the ideas inside the Jira product discovery project. In Jira discovery project idea is a key feature or you can say a key element. It is just like the other issues in Jira like epic task or a story. So like this we create the idea as an issue inside the Jira product discovery. Let's go and see how to create the idea in JPD. This is my Jira product discovery project and we have created the first demo video project in our previous video. Jira product discovery project is the team managed project. If you are already working with the Jira software then maybe you are familiar with the team managed or the company managed projects. If you don't know about the team managed or the company managed project then I have mentioned the link of one of my video where you will learn what is the difference between team and the company managed projects and what they are. So don't forget to check this video if you don't know about the team or the company managed project. The Jira product discovery is the team managed project. They are not the company managed. Okay, now we will go and create the idea inside this uh, JPD project. We will click on create an idea and then we will create the idea like uh, create a robo agent. I can enter and it will be here because I haven't mentioned any kind of category inside my idea. I'll go and mention the category. This is sample ideas. And after that, you will find my idea here, create robo agent. Inside the idea, we have the overview. So we can write down the overview of our idea. If you want to start with a template, click on a template and you will find these templates here. It will give you the idea how you can write your ideas in the better way. So I will go with the uh, solution definition and this is how the template will look like. If you want to create your own template, then you can simply go and create your own template with the help of this uh, button. You can click here and then you can create your own template. But right now I am using it so I will go and hit the save and I have added the description or the overview of my idea. Now the second tab is about the insights so I can go and add the insights. In the insights it could be my user feedback, my product analytics or maybe support tickets or any important notes that related to this idea. So I can create the insights with the help of create insights. I can add this is my uh, first insight in this idea. And maybe if you want to attach a link, then I can maybe I'm going to attach this one. And here you can give the impact like this insight is having how much impact. So this is high. And here I can add as a link because this is the Slack link and I have to authenticate it right now. I haven't so I will add it as a link and after that I will create. So this is how we can create the insights. The different way to create the insights is using the Jira product discovery extension. I have already installed the extension and now I will go maybe I'm reading the article somewhere and then I will find okay this is the important information and it could be a great insight for my create robo agent uh, idea. So what I will do I will select it and then I will come here I will click on the Jira product discovery extension. It will ask me about my project. So I will choose my project, which is the first demo video project. And I can choose my idea here. So uh, create robo agent. And then you can see this particular text is already there. If you want to add more, then you can go and add more like this. And you can add a description. You can add the label if you want and then just hit the add button here. Now we will come here in this idea in, inside the JPD project and here you can see there is one more insights here. If you want to give the impact then you can uh, set the impact value here. There is other way to add the insights like if you want to add the insights from the Slack or the team apps then it is pretty simple. You will go inside the Slack message, copy the link and then you can mention here. 
I haven't did the setup for the Slack and Teams. That's the reason I cannot show you in this video. But if you want to see how you can add the insight from the Slack team or any other app, just let me know in the comment box and I will prepare the different video for that so that you can get everything about the insights on that video. Okay, now we will go to the third tab which is uh, delivery and this is the place where you will connect your idea with the Jira software. You will go and simply create a delivery ticket where you can choose uh, the name of your project. Let's suppose if I will go with the, uh, I have this Jira Cloud Admin Training, I can choose the issue type here. So I want to create a story. If you want to keep the same name of the idea, you can, but if you want to change, then here you can do it. This is also the option like you can uh, embed the idea description and fields into the delivery ticket. So it's good if you want to use it, then you can and just click on create. And after that, you will uh, have this information. You will go here. Uh, if you have the sub child, then you will be able to see the information here. You can open it in the Jira software and we also have the option to link the existing Jira tickets here. Simply click search uh, the issue. Let's suppose it could be jcat53. You can link your Jira issue with this uh, idea here. Okay, when you will come here, you will find it is also do not have any child issue. So let's go and create a child issue here. I will go and add one more subtask. So this one is subtask one and I will create one more which is subtask two. Uh, one I will I want to keep it in the development and it will be here in the new. Okay, so come back here, give it a refresh and then when you will click here, you will see the subtask here with the statuses. So this is how if you are a program manager if and you do not want to go inside the Jira software to check what is the status of the tickets, then you can simply come here in the delivery tab and check your issues statuses directly from the Jira product discovery. The last tab is the history where you can check the history of your idea just like the Jira software where we can check the history of our issue. We will also have the option of the ideas here. You can move, you can clone, merge and archive. And if you have the permission to delete the idea, then you can also delete this idea. What about the merges? Let's suppose you are receiving thousands of ideas inside your Jira product discovery uh, project and some are same um, like duplicate. So you can merge those ideas together. So this option is really cool. And if you want to clone, definitely you can clone. If you want to move the idea from one project to the another, then you can do it. When you are inside the idea, then you have an option to add an attachment to link an issue. You also have some fields here. These are the fields in the view. So you can see we have the category, we have insights, impact and effort. So these are the fields in view and these are the or another available field for this idea. That's how we can create the idea inside the Jira product discovery. If you found this video useful, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.